What is going on guys and welcome back to another Is That Chat Auto Reviews video. I am finally back. I have been busy, busy, busy learning all of the new Chevy product for you guys. Once again guys, I am no longer a Mitsubishi. I am now at Courtesy Chevrolet. So if you guys want to see all the new Chevrolet products, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know below. If you guys would also go ahead and go over to the Courtesy Chevrolet page, I'll be posting a link there. I'll be doing a whole lot of... Um, collab work there so if you guys would please support me i'll go over there and give that page a subscription for more in-depth information and just more process once again guys this is chad thank you so much for coming back to the video and any kind of chevy product that you guys want to see make sure you go and drop a comment and let me know what that is today we're going to be taking a look at the 2021 chevy colorado and the zr2 bison edition be showing you guys everything this truck has to offer this is a specialty colorado um it's a lot to discuss so let's get right into it Hi guys, so as I was saying, this is the 2021 Chevy Colorado and the ZR2 Bison Edition, as you can see from right back here on the back. I first want to go ahead and start out by showing you guys a picture of the window sticker. So if you guys want to go ahead and pause this so you can see everything that this truck has to offer, as well as this price point right here, as you can see, 55000 uh, just under 56000 but all the different things that come along with this Bison um, such as the fog lamps, the AEV content, like the um, skid plates and all that type of thing. We'll be diving all into that. So first I want to go ahead and give you guys just a nice walk around of this truck. You can see here as part of the ZR2 edition and the Bison edition, you do have these really nice 17 inch wheels. You also have a expanded um, wheel, wheel, wheel wells there. So make them a little bit bigger so you have a little bit more ground clearance. You also notice all along the bottom here, you'll have these steel um, running boards and skid plates and all that type of stuff just to kind of enhance the off-road capabilities of this truck. Now, just to kind of clear up some things first, this truck only comes in a four-wheel drive system and it does not allow for the crew bed, I'm sorry, crew cab long bed combination. Um, now, this truck does have the Multimatic DSSV dampers as well as front and rear locking differentials, which is really, really cool. As I mentioned earlier, of course, these larger wheel arches. Now, about this, tur about this turbo diesel, this is not gonna be the full size, um, like the large Duramax that you see in like the full size Silverados. This is the smaller 2.8 liter, and I believe it's been around since around 2016 and has been very, very well received. Um, it's going to get you 18 miles per gallon in the city and 22 miles per gallon on the highway as it sits right now. This thing does have a towing capacity of 7,700 pounds and a horsepower rating of 181 horsepower with a torque rating of 369 pound feet of torque. So now that we've kind of covered some of the best, the, um, you know, some of the more specifics of it, let's go ahead and get into this more of the looks of it and more of the features of it. Looking up here at the front, you'll notice that you do have these projector style headlights. They are outfitted from the factory with just your regular halogen headlights. Looking down here at the bottom, you also get nice fog lights as part of this package. As I mentioned earlier, you do also get steel skid plates. Let's see if I can get underneath here so you can, so you can see that. You also notice right down there the uh, red tow hook, so you have nice tow capacity. And then you can see the, the rear the shocks there that I was telling you about. You'll also get the uh, black grill with the Chevy emblem in there. You don't get the black bow tie on the front of this one. 
Look at the side, as I mentioned earlier, you do have these really, really good looking 17 inch bills. And then, of course, looking up here, you do have the Duramax badging, just so everybody knows. And you remember that you are driving a Duramax Colorado. Very, very rare. Working all our way on to the back of the truck, I do want to go ahead and go into the bed. Before I hop into the bed, once again, you see down here at the bottom, you do have two more additional tow, uh, tow receivers right there. Backup camera is going to be located right here on your uh, tailgate. Really nice thing about this tailgate is it's like soft opening. It's very, very light, like super light. This automatic already going to come with a spray liner in the bed. Really nice, very durable. Of course, you have some really nice tie downs there as well, located in the front and back of the truck. And then, of course, you have your ZR2 uh, badging right back there in the back. Sliding rear window, which is a really nice feature. Another really cool thing is when the truck is locked, this is also locked, the tailgate. So if you have a tunnel cover or something like that, um, your, your tailgate will be locked whenever you lock the truck. Go ahead and go to the back. Now I have the front seat set about where I would have it when I drive the truck. I'm six foot one, so just to kind of give you guys some, um, you know, so you see what it feels like to be in the back seat of this truck, I will. I will hop in, show you guys the amount of leg space that you have first. So, now that I'm back here, you see, my knees are touching, but just barely. I wouldn't say that it's too terribly uncomfortable. I would definitely be okay to go for the, like uh, a short road trip or something like that in this car. Looking at the headspace, I do have plenty of headspace. That's not an issue at all, thankfully. You also get a very nice armrest here with two cup holders. And then a really, think, really cool thing Chevy has done on all of our models this year. We've added plenty of phone chargers for all occupants of the car. Um, you can see there's three seats in the back. There's three places to plug in your devices. Really, really thoughtful from Chevy. Now, another cool thing to point out back here. Obviously, it is all leather, um, which you should expect. But you can also lift up the seat bottom. See if I can do it with one hand here. Maybe. There we go lift up the seat bottoms where you're going to receive a little bit of additional space as well as all of your um, spare tire and tools right down there but really nice to be able to get you a little bit of additional storage space that's hidden underneath these seats back here go ahead and fold that back down now another thing to bring up on the Silverados you have a power um, back window back here but on the Colorado when you do get the the back window it is not going to be a power it is your um just a manual opening there i'm gonna go ahead and hop into the driver's seat once again guys if you guys have any questions make sure you drop a comment let me know what kind of questions you have and i'll be more than happy to answer all of those for you go ahead and look at all these lights turned on here okay look at the interior the front seat you can see once again it is leather of course you do have power seating on both the driver and the passenger side. It is a power slide up and back with the power lumbar on the driver's seat, but you do have the manual um, controls to tilt the back up. You see you have some nice embroidery right there, kind of remind you that you're driving the Bison and it's a partnership with the AEV. Now this truck does have the Bose audio system, which you can see right here this is the most subtle bose system i've ever seen normally when you have the bows you have the giant letters on the doors and all that but not on this truck so now that we're seated inside the truck everything is really nice the steering wheel is going to be leather as well as the um the boot sorry the, the shifter lever right here everything else in the truck is going to be hard plastic um and, but it is supposed to be pretty durable material and that I think is what you're primarily buying this truck for. Not, not so much for luxury, but for the durability of it. Looking up here, you do have just your regular uh, analog speedometer and tachometer with a digital readout right there in the middle, which is pretty, um, pretty common right now. 
heated steering wheel, heated seats. Of course, you have your Bluetooth and navigation, as you can see, as well as your um, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Now, going back to the navigation real quick, let me show you guys just how um, how easy the screen is to maneuver here. You can see, I mean, it just does exactly what I'm telling it to do. Two fingers to kind of rotate or zoom in. You can recenter right there. But you can see it does exactly what it is I'm trying to do, even um, kind of changing the angle there, which is really cool. But anyways, so really, really responsive touchscreen. Really like that. Of course, it has the um, satellite radio capability as well. Looking down here, you do not have dual automatic climate control, but you do have automatic climate. So with the digital readout, which is really nice. Really, really, really simple to, to use right here. It's not a whole lot, it's not very confusing. Looking down just a little bit further down here, like I said earlier, you do have the locking front and rear differentials and you can see those buttons just right here. Traction control button, your exhaust and your trailer, your exhaust brake and your trailer braking right there. You have your cargo lights. And then down here you have your heated seats. Heated on the, um, focus there we go heated on the seat bottom and the seat back or just heated on the seat back which is a really really nice function there you do not get cold seats on this car but once again not a bit not a huge deal breaker now once again to the um to the connectivity side of things you can see once again down here we have included a well maybe if you can see that you have two more power and uh, USB outlets right here and then another like a cigarette lighter to plug in and charge your devices as well but you also have the wireless phone charger to charge so lots and lots of charging and compatibility options there very very deep center console overall my overall take of the truck it is very very well put together um, it's very easy to use it's not very confusing sometimes you get into these new cars and trucks and there's just a lot going on this is not the case this is definitely very user friendly and very very easy to drive and operate all right guys that is going to go ahead and do it for this video if you guys did like this content go ahead and drop that like on go ahead and drop that like and subscribe to my channel for more content don't forget to let me know what you guys want to see next and also don't forget to go ahead and go over to courtesy chevrolet and hit that subscribe button over there as well Thank you guys so much for watching another Is That Chat Auto Reviews video. I will see you guys in the very next video. Thanks.